This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus K50i laptop computer with a broken laptop screen, and we want to replace that screen. And in this video, we'll show you how to replace that screen. Okay, uh, first thing, before you do anything, is we got to remove the battery and it's a square thing over here and uh, they don't make it easy for us so we have um, this lever that we have to slide lift up the cover and the battery is under here and some latches here that we have to lift up and the battery is out okay that's the first step now we're on the back of it for Asus laptops there's some confusion about the model numbers if you look at here get a good focus you see Asus and it could be either K501 or K50i so it's K50i and the reason I say that is there's another sticker with the model number so you can get a good focus there we go because it says model K50i and under there it says K50iJ so it's Asus K50i or K50iJ now also some people have questions how to pronounce Asus I think it's Asus some people think it's Asus but I don't think Asus sounds right so I'm going to call it Asus all right, now let's get to the job at hand. So for this job, we need a pair of metal tweezers, a small electronics screwdriver with a pH 0 bit and a pH 1 bit, and an X-Acto knife with a pointed blade. So the first thing we have to do is remove the plastic frame around the screen. This frame is also known as the bezel. And there's six screws that secure the bezel to the screen assembly. And we have to remove those screws. And there's some rubber pads covering up those screws so that we use our X-Acto knife to remove the rubber pads. So, like so. What I like to do with the rubber pads is attach them to the frame on the side so I can keep track and not lose them. They're easy to lose and sometimes they get stuck on your arm and you don't know where they are. I've had that happen to me. After that, I took my family out to a restaurant. And on the back of my arm, I saw one of the rubber pads, and I said, hmm, I was looking for that. So, ever since then, I just stick them to the frame. All right, so we took off the rubber pads, and now we're going to remove the screen, I mean the screws, with our screwdriver with a pH 1 bit. And what I like to do with screws from each step is keep them in their own pile, separate pile, so you keep a track of what's where. Okay, moving along, I'm learning how to use my left hand for this to get a better camera angle. Okay, almost there. Usually when I do this, I use an electric screwdriver so that I don't get carpal tunnel syndrome, but for this video, I just use a manual screwdriver to better demonstrate it. Okay, so we have our pile of screws, and I'm going to put this pile of screws over here so they're all together. Okay, now the screws are removed. And now it's time to remove the bezel. 
This is probably the hardest part of the job. And what I like to do is reach with my fingertips on the screen side and gently start prying the bezel up. Like so, when you hear snapping sounds, that's a good sound, sign because that means the bezel is coming off. So take your time on this. Go slowly, try not to break anything. I've broken these before, so that's okay too, but try not to. Okay, and we snapped it all off, and now we it's a bit stuck on the bottom. So what I like to do is pull in the middle. And there's there's piece some tabs that go inside the hinge cover, so that's why it's a little bit harder. And like so, and it's off. Okay, so this is the plastic frame, and we want to put the frame to the side. And let's look at the screen assembly. The screen itself is held by some metal mounting brackets with screws on the side. And what we want to do is be able to get to those screws on the side. So there's one, two, three. Those we can get to with not much problem. But there's a fourth one in there that we can't really get to. So we have to take some more screws out to tilt the screen assembly forward so we can get to those screws. So let's do that right now. We have to remove these four screws. That's one. Two. Okay, when we do this, let's have the screen assembly tilt it back a little bit so it just doesn't fall forward on us. Three and four. All right, now let's see if we can tilt it forward or maybe even do it all the way. So we grab over here. Okay, what I see is there's another bracket up here that we have to remove first. So we take this top bracket out too. With these laptops, sometimes it's a guessing game what you have to remove to get to the screen. So we take these two screws out on top, like so, and take this bracket out and put that to the side. Now let's see if we can tilt the screen forward. And yes, we can. So the whole thing goes forward and there's nothing holding it back. And so we lay it down. Okay, now this screen, it's the way this laptop's put together, it's a little bit unusual in that the metal brackets are attached to the screen first rather than to the back lid. So let's take it step by step and remove the connector first. This is a LED screen, and LED screens have only, most of the time, have only one connector. So let's remove this connector, and in order to do that, we have to remove the tape, this yellow tape. So I like to use the X-Acto knife to help me lift it up. And this tape is on very tightly but we'll take our time and so we take this yellow tape off first and under the yellow tape there's some clear plastic tape so we have to remove the clear plastic tape okay I use my exacto knife to lift that up and pull that back like so, and there's some adhesive here, some tape, we lift that up. Okay, so now that 
the cable is freed from all the tapes, what you want to do is gently pull it back like so, and it's removed. And now we have the screen assembly. Now, typically our job is halfway done at this point, but in this case we have to remove the metal mounting brackets. Now, the screen that you order that's going to come in, it's not going to have these metal mounting brackets on the side, so you got to save those. Don't throw those away, those are very important. So, what we do is we can actually use a pH one bit for this. What we do is remove the four screws that hold the metal mounting bracket. And what I like to do for these is lay out the screws and the brackets as they would be when we put this reattach a new screen to it. Because it's easy to mix up the orientation of this bracket when we take it off and I'll show you what I'm what I'm talking about. Okay, so we lay out the screws and we take the bracket off, try not to flip it, keep it exactly the way it was, and put it to the side like this. So when we have the new screen laying down, we can just put the bracket back on, and we know it's not like this, or like this, or whatever. We know it's exactly like this. So let's repeat this same step on the second half. One. Two. Three. And four. Okay, so this bracket just came off, but we want to have the right orientation. So we leave it here like this. And now we have the screen, and this is the part that you replace. Okay, it's a 15.6 inch LED screen, <coughs> LED, as of early 2011. This is the most common type of screen that goes into laptop computers. So you shouldn't have any trouble finding one, but if you want to buy it from us, we can also sell you this screen. Otherwise, so we give you the part number. The part number that you're looking for is LTN156AT02. Now, when you type in this part number and order the screen, most likely you'll get a compatible screen. It's not going to be the same manufacturer, and the part number is going to be different but it'll look pretty much exactly like this with the connector down here. And one other thing to notice, the screen has a glossy finish, as most screens do, and that should be it. So when you're ready to put the screen back, what you want to do is, when you have the new screen, is make sure you line it up the right way, attach the metal brackets like this with the screws, attach the connector, and put the assembly back in, put the little bracket in back at the top that we had, put those four screws in, and then you put the plastic frame back on and put the screws in, and that should be it, and it should be ready to go. All right, uh, it's not too bad, so um, good luck, and uh, be careful. Thank you very much. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com.